Hi guys, welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at some common errors that you might find when you're setting up a pivot table in Excel. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert a pivot table. So coming to your insert tab, click on pivot table, and we want to create a pivot table using this data here. So we select the table and click OK. What we find in this instance is we get this error, which says the pivot table field name is not valid. Now, essentially, what this error is, it basically means that one of your heading in your base data is blank. So if we scroll across here and can't quite in the first instance see which one's blank, the easiest way to do it is select your first cell, hold down control and hit your arrow right. And you'll notice it stops here on the second one because the next cell is blank. Actually, if we widen out this column, you'll see that we're missing a name header in here. So if we pop that in, then we select our table uh, and insert our pivot table. And we want to put it into our pivot table sheet. Click OK. You'll see that your pivot table now inserts correctly. Another common error that you might find with your pivot tables is where two pivot tables overlap. So if we insert a second one just below the first, if we then try and add in some data on this pivot table, at the moment it's all right, but say we try to add in a second tier of rows, you'll notice that it says pivot table report cannot overlap another pivot table. And basically what's happening is when you add in that second layer of rows, this pivot table is coming and it would overlap this pivot table, which it won't allow. Now you can do two things here. You can either insert some more rows, move your pivot table to a new sheet is another option and one that I usually use. And now when we select this code, they'll go in because it's not overlapping this pivot table. Now, one thing that uh, people may note when you insert a pivot table is your columns tend to automatically adjust so that they're the width of your data. So in this instance, if I click on this population data, it's got a very wide heading, so it widens out the column in order to accommodate it. However, you might not want this. And what you do is click anywhere in your pivot table, scroll down to this pivot table options second from the bottom, and you'll see on here, there's this auto fit column width on update. If we uncheck that, click OK. If you then say adjust your columns, say we want them all to be 20 in width. Now, when you add in and update new columns, it won't adjust the width as it did previously. Another issue which I have been asked in the past, uh, which you may or may not experience yourselves, is an issue where sometimes your field headings, so either your column headings or your row headings, aren't pulling through in the way that you expect them. So if we look at this pivot table, which is coming from this example data here, so we've got a name, ID, a date, a time, and an amount. And say, for example, we want to have one of our headers or our row headers being the time, and then a total as amount. You'll notice that while our base data here has our time in 15 minute increments, our pivot table is simply putting them in as hours. Now, if we were to select that data and try and format it, you'll notice it is actually saying that it is a time format in hours and minutes, and it doesn't matter what you do, they're not going to update. This has got to do with the way the pivot table is pulling your data through and is reading it as text. And the easiest way to fix this, if we go to our example data, if we put in a new column here, I'm going to call it pivot time. And what we need to do is we need to convert this time in its time format into a text format. So we do this using the text function. So equals text, select our value, and then we want it in the hour, hour, minute, minute format. You'll notice that the values look the same, but they are formatted in Excel's eyes in a different manner. And then if we just copy that formula. So all our times are now mirrored as this pivot time, which is in a text format. 
Go back to our pivot table, go to our analyze tab and click refresh. So our pivot time now appears in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that and you'll see it now goes in the 15 minute increments. Now you may not want two columns in your base data. So what you can do, come back to it. We can copy this column, paste it as special, so as values, and then delete. So let's rename our heading first so it's the same as the previous one. Delete this column. Again, we can go back to our pivot table and refresh it. And because we changed the heading, we need to pop that back in as our rows. But you'll see they're still in those 15 minute increments. So that's just a quick overview of some basic issues that you might find when you are creating your pivot tables. If there's anything in particular that you're finding and want to know how to fix it, please do leave me a comment. I'd love it if you liked and subscribed and I do look forward to seeing you on the next video.